Why does microtechnology need medicine? So let me tell you a story of a little girl. This is a happy, playful little girl. She wakes up in the morning, she goes and jumps on the bed of her parents, wakes them up. One morning, however, her parents realize that she didn't come to wake them up. They go to her room and see that she's still sleeping. She, oh, maybe she's just tired. The next morning, again, she doesn't wake up. Something must be wrong. They bring her to the hospital. At the hospital, that what they see is that her glucose levels are abnormal. It turns out that she has type 1 diabetes. Her immune cells are attacking beta cells in her pancreas, killing those cells and preventing them from secreting insulin. For the rest of her life, this little girl now has to prick her finger to measure glucose, has to take insulin shots, has to be constantly vigilant to make sure that she is in range. These are challenges that we have now. What if we can do better? What if we can measure minute signs of beta cells in our pancreas dying at the earliest states before all the beta cells have died and when we can intervene by killing, let's say, these immune cells? This is what we're interested in doing using micro and nanotechnology in order to measure at this really minute scale of single cells and single molecules.